really expecting that he was gonna message me already but no he didn't it was already like um um evening already like 10 p.m so no no message at all so like okay no 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 never mind so and it was almost 12 in the midnight i received a message and then when i opened it up i was shocked hey uh, it's ever uh, so guess what i did i was like really jumped like i jumped ah, like oh and then and i shouted and like on my stuff was like miss are you okay what happened to you like oh i was like a bit a bit shy you know because i don't know why did why why i felt that way like uh, you know like yeah, blah, blah, blah. so like oh i'm blushing um i don't know i just like really i jumped like because i was maybe i was just too excited that he messaged me because he made me wait for too long can you can you imagine he asked my number for like um wait what time was it maybe around 11 or 12 in the a uh, in the in 12 noon and then he just messaged me 12 midnight so how many hours has it been before he was able to message me but then yeah at, that's the start of our communication we started communicating texting and yeah and then yeah going going like that and actually i maybe like after few months few months or maybe it took me a year before i was able to tell them like hey why is that when you ask my number it took you um a how many hours before you were able to message me he told me like because i thought that it's not proper to immediately message you um after getting your number so i waited for a bit something like that and then he said like actually um he was sleeping because they work at uh, their work is online so they work um in the evening so he was sleeping when after we had a lunch they went home and slept so i said okay okay so okay let's go back again um after that time he already like asked me out on a date um hey i you know yeah maybe let's go out and like me and my younger sister we were together it's me and it's the four of us already who go out always something like that and this old Rus guy he actually i was i have I, at that time i had to work i was working as the marketing manager of a restaurant and i was also working part-time job um uh, as a ambassador of a telecommunication a telecom um uh, company something so when I was in my telecom company, he actually come and like visit. He visits me. Uh, he gave me chocolates. He gave me cupcakes. Like you know, some sweets. Some like he was already courting. Like and okay. So basically, we started dating. So yeah, we started dating. Then uh, it was um, Valentine's Day we we went to a club because this guys um this guys like they they said like they've never been into a club here in lithuania because um like yeah uh, they're not allowed yet because they were just like i guess 20. they just turned 20. oh so no oh, okay it was like they want to explore or know how does the club in philippines looks like or how something how it is so okay we went there and it was like february 13 in the evening so yeah we dance like chun 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 i he actually gave me a flower um gave me a a c a, a one one rose and he gave it to me so we sit and then later on he said like hey you know he was offering me to be his girlfriend so uh of course he's been he has like i thought like i will not gonna be in a relationship yet but oh gosh this guy made me say made me say yes so yeah i said yes and um that old ruse <laughs> i am actually his first girlfriend he never had a girlfriend ever since 
So I I am his first girlfriend. So I was actually very impressed when he was still courting me. He did his very best. Like he was he he was very a lot of effort even though he never experienced how to court or how to have a girlfriend, but he did a great job to win my heart. So who am I to say no when I saw a lot of effort from him? So I said my sweet yes. It's been like maybe um, after a month. He always thought that our anniversary um, was like February 13 because it was the day where we went to that um, club. But actually, it was I told him no, it was 14 already because it was already 1 a.m. So it was past 12. So it was 14. So that's when he knew after a month that it was actually 14. So where our under our monthsary is like February 14 something. So fast forward and they are actually about to go home around um February in the last the last week or the last day of February. But I orders like they decided to like extend to they decided to extend uh, to stay longer in Philippines. Um so they stayed longer but then um they want to uh no his friend he had to go home already i guess he went home around june yeah he went home around june but odus really didn't left me so he stayed with me and then oh my god why am i crying <laughs> wait Okay, so even though his friend left already, he stayed with me, and then what time? I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm I'm a bit emotional. Um, um. So okay, he he really never left me ever since like ever since we met, he didn't left me. He was like he stayed with me even though like he was already alone. His friend went home already, but he stayed with me. So he we decided to like. If he was gonna go home, he was gonna take me. So I will be able to meet his parents also. So yes, we prepared my visa. So I'll be able to come here to Lithuania. So yes, um, thankfully we were able to process my visa successfully. So I was able to come in here and I was able to meet his parents last 2015. And when I met his parents, I really, really like fell in love with Odus even more because um, his parent was so nice. Um, when we were in here already in Lithuania, I was able to know Odus even more, like how he is as a not just only as a boyfriend, but I, I knew him more as a brother because he has a sister i know him as a son and it was the time that i said like oh my god this guy is amazing like he's just so good and like um he's just so good and his family is just so adorable and yeah and we went home to philippines after like almost two months so but before we went home actually we because um we decided to like we plan we we planned to uh maybe we were just gonna stay in philippines that's our plan we were just gonna um buy a house or like build a house in philippines so we i was searching a lot already for um uh a lot lot for sale so we will be we will be able to buy a lot and build our own house when we get go back to philippines so that's our plan so we went home um yeah we landed to philippines in manila and it was like it, that it didn't went well because like odus was deported <laughs> when we went to the immigrant when we reached the immigration because it we have different um exit he will can exit into the like foreign and i am in the local so I was able to pass through because it's a local one. In the, we are in the Philippines already. But he, he was stuck. So 
at first I was just looking at him because I didn't knew that something is wrong. I thought that just like some simple or basic stuff that is wrong. So mm, I just waited for a bit, but it be like it took him so long to be able to exit from that immigration um check. So I I actually um went to him, but he said like um no something like that maybe i'll because it's gonna take it this video might take so so long maybe if you want me to like um say or tell how or what's the reason why he was deported something like that just leave a comment below and i will gonna i'll gonna make another story what's the reason why he was deported or something something like that okay he was deported and it was the very first time that me and Orus got separated for the very first time because we really didn't have like um a day not being with each other 28 hours of like flight he went back again 28 hours without sleep like immediately we just landed and then he went back to lithuania because he was deported so i really like it was my first time traveling alone yeah from manila to cebu while I was still walking in the airport, oh my god, I, I really cried a lot, like, really, I, for me, I, it seems like I'm about to go crazy, because I was thinking about him, I know that he was very tired, because I, I, I am very tired also, but, and then, um, like, I was worried about him, because I don't know what was gonna happen to him, so, really, I went crazy, like, walking, like, I don't know what to do, like, oh my god, like, really, I cannot imagine myself at that day. It was one of the worst day of my life, like totally. Really, I cried like, and I cannot even contact Odus at that time. Like totally, I cannot contact him. So in the morning, he messaged me immediately, like he's okay, something like that. He was able to. Um, he was not yet in in Lithuania. He was like something in Istanbul or Turkey, because um, for like. Um, we have to wait in there for like how many hours something like that so he was able to message me i was so happy like oh finally oh uh, he's okay when um uh, when he already um uh, arrived in lithuania he messaged me we we skyped and then his family told him oh and maybe you can just like you know stay for a while like maybe um for a month but he said like no he was gonna go back immediately to me <laughs> like so he immediately booked a ticket like it took him like five days uh to go back to philippines but he said like it was that he booked the cheapest cheapest one because like when he was deported it was like totally like very he spent a lot because he was the one who had to pay for it and then going back again so it was like costly so he booked the cheapest one immediately he really booked and then he said like uh, he was gonna come immediately to me so after five days we were able to be together again so oh my god and i saw him uh, like in the airport when he arrived like oh my god like oh my god like oh my god like, oh. so yeah we were again we were together again and then okay let's go fast forward fast forward mm. so because of that incident a lot of our plan plan changed like instead of we were gonna just like um stay in philippines that's the reason why we are now in here in lithuania because uh, because of that what happened and then some also some um some uh, it adds up uh that an incident adds up to other incident that made us decide to just stay here in lithuania so yeah we were together Odris was like um working online his work is online and then i was also like um working part-time like i was working uh, i was like looking for like part-time since i i will be i will be able to like work part-time so yeah we were doing our very best to like save something and like it was my birthday is actually october and i didn't expect I never had I never thought that he was gonna propose <laughs> yes he it was the day that he proposed to me it was October 9 midnight like 12 midnight 
He let me went to Daisy. Okay, can you go first to the comfort room? So I said, why? So, okay. I said, okay, you have to go out now. And when I went out, oh my God. It was like, um, a cake. He said, happy birthday. So, and there was I, um, a paper bag. I said, I, op I should open it. So I opened it. When I open it, it's a phone. It's a um, iPhone um, iPhone 6 plus yes iPhone 6 plus so oh I'm so happy because actually my phone I dropped my phone and it was like in the screen of my phone cracked so I was happy because I was expecting that he'll gonna give me a shoes a pink shoes because uh, before my birthday he keeps on asking me Bev what Bev what's your shoe size so I said like why um I just hmm. I thought that he was gonna give me a pink shoe so so when I opened the box, it was a phone. I was happy, but I was like too focused on like I'm um, the cake and talking to him. I said like, wait, <coughs> excuse me. He said like, wait, open the phone. Okay, I should open the phone. When I opened the phone, I turned it on, and in the screen, I mean, the the time that I opened the phone, I the screen showed up and it says, "Will you marry me?" When it when it pops out, he knelt down. He knelt down, and then asked my hand, and he said like, "If will you marry me?" So, yeah, I said, of course. I said yes. He's an amazing guy. So, it was in our condo where we stayed in Philippines. He knelt down. He said, "Will you marry me?" I said yes. So, yeah, and then. We planned to like have our wedding in the Philippines. So our wedding was March 12. Um, it was like one of the like toughest months of our life because like I was like very it was very stressful to actually manage a wedding. But we were able to manage it, and then yeah, and so after that, um, um, he, all of his. Uh, all of his family went to our wedding his mom his dad his sister and his best friends his two best friends went to our wedding we were very happy like i because like his parents were very supportive like his his best friends were very supportive here they really like all the way from lithuania they went to philippines just to celebrate our wedding so yeah and now like after the wedding um we spent our first honeymoon in palawan um together with his friends his best friends and his family and then immediately process my visa my paper so uh, we will be able to come in here in lithuania so yeah as you can see i am in here in lithuania so my visa was successful i've been in here for like almost eight months me and Odus is in here. We were gonna live in here in Lithuania. Um, I am planning to um, work. Um, that's why I am actually um, studying right now Lithuanian language because um, I was actually looking for some job. But usually in here, for you to be able to work, you must actually know. Uh, you must be bilingual in Lithuanian and English. Maybe like so. For me to be able to have really a job that I really like, I should like learn Lithuanian language. So now I am actually studying in here in Kaunas in a university, a Lithuanian language, and I will gonna have my class until June. So yeah, right now I am really enjoying Lithuania. I am enjoying my stay in here. Yes, I do miss Philippines so, so, so much, but my husband is here, the love of my life is here, so I am in here, and we are gonna have our future in here, and yes, I'm planning to work in here, in the future. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's the story of me and others, how we met, how we fell in love, how I became misses and yeah that's it and what else 
yeah so if you really want to know about the why he was deported or something just leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll gonna if there will be a lot of you who are gonna say like um do a story something maybe i will gonna do a story why and then if you have any question just feel free to leave a comment and i'll gonna answer you guys so yeah i know it was quite long so i'm sorry for that but it's how it is but Thank you for watching and I hope you know me more uh, about because uh, you were able to know me more because of this story. So thank you so much for watching and please if you like my story, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also please don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified every time I update something on my channel. So see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!